So today in BMG Drive, we are checking out an awesome 6x6 truck. And folks, you want to stay tuned because we completely ruined this thing. Like, folks, we screwed up. It's terrible. So hit the thumbs up button. Let's jump in. All right, here we are. And folks, check this out. We have a 6x6 D series. This thing is pretty awesome. But you know what? I think it could be even better. So there's some pretty cool presets with this. I know you can pretty much do everything that you do with the D series on this, uh, including making a tow truck flatbed, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, I want to see how this thing handles the off-road. So we are in uh, the Polish mountains, and I believe there's a couple really good off-road trails, and I believe there's kind of like a river down here uh, that we can get into. So by the way, I don't think the Polish mountains are made for a six by six. Jeez, these roads are kind of tight. Uh, is there just like an off-road path that eats you down the mountain? I kind of would prefer to take it. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. We're not doing very good here. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's just hope the 6x6 can take a beating here today. There we go. That looks like an off-road path right there. Uh, this should work, right? I mean, it says it's a four-wheel drive. Shouldn't it be like a six-wheel drive? I'm assuming all wheels are driving now. Uh, so we got a six-wheel drive. So just ignore the badge on the back. Ooh, hold on. That looks kind of like a spicy opportunity over there. Hold on, let's take a right here. If I can do it in this vehicle. So I think this will, uh, like I said, be compatible with a lot of my other off-road parts. So I really do think that I can make like some sort of off-roading beast. Uh, the presets are this one. They have a dually version of it and they have a uh, kind of like the tow truck flatbed, but I don't think it's adjustable. Uh, so I think you could put that on there. Yeah, this isn't working. Like I feel like... We need a little bit more of an extreme off-roader here. So basically for this build, I'm thinking about putting the biggest off-road tires I can. Not the ridiculously huge ones, even though I do have that mod and I think it does work with it. And uh, put a big motor in it, maybe dress it up a bit, put a roll cage, delete some seats. Let me go build that real quick. So I present to you the 6x6 off-roading beast. This thing is cool. So I did use the dually fender wells. It looks a little odd because it does poke out. I mean, when you're behind it, you don't really notice it that much. But yeah, we have massive off-roading tires. Oh, oh, oh. yes, and there is a, uh, it's a diesel motor in here. Uh, it is a race one though. Hold on, let's go uh, maybe off-roading real quick. Also, can I make it to where the rear steer? I don't think that's a thing. Uh, I did replace the uh, suspension in here with a more beefier off-roading suspension. All right, you know what? Let's go down into the riverbed here and start to go up. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, let's just hope the tires can maybe take a couple rock hits. Uh, we have the snorkel on here, so I don't think we're going to have any issues with the river itself. Uh, hold on, let's go up this way. Man, that back suspension works so much better now with the, a much beefier suspension setup. Uh, opposed to the default one on here. That is good. All right, let's hop back over. Boom. <laughs> now, this is how you off-road and beam and D drop. I love this thing. Uh, I don't even know. Like, have we had a 6x6 six six before? I know a mod floated around for a little bit, but I don't know if it was as well put together as this one. But, yeah, this is glorious. And I think we have reached the end of the river here. Okay, there's got to be, like, an uphill path that I can try testing this thing on. And then we can get more ridiculous and maybe even play with the tow truck here. All right, we're going to see if we can climb with this thing. So there is a road up there. Uh, I think there might be a guardrail there, but we're going to try to get over it. Uh, we do have nitrous too, you know, that extra little speed boost. Uh, we'll keep it in the high range box right now. Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Traction control's off. Oh, yeah. I hear that thing roar. Uh, I don't know if doing this in high gear is like the best way to do this but i mean it's making it up uh okay that might be a little bit too vertical here but if we go into the low range there's a chance we can make that work with all six wheels driving oh yeah i think we could do this all right here we go let's go uh low gear here okay let's go ahead and just start to go up the side come on baby Okay, we're not quite getting grip with those front tires. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, let's try not to crash this. I mean, we could... Oh, that is a steep fall there. Okay, we're fine. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, uh, come on, baby. No! <laughs> not even the nitrous is going to get us up here. I mean, to be honest with you, that is really, really steep. 
Uh, we could try the downhill on. Huh? There we go. We. Oh! Wait, what the heck did I just hit? What? Oh, there's a tree right there. I believe the tree might have just ripped off a piece of the front. Uh oh. Wow, that little bitty tree took us out. You gotta be kidding me. On oh, our uh, wheel stuck in there. You know, we could have a bigger front tire. I mean, I think there is an option for that. Oh, let's go down. Oh, geez. And stop oh, that's tree. Well, you know, our off roading beast, uh, it lasted a good while. Uh, but we have a roll cage in here. That's a plus. All right, you know what? Let's try some of the other versions of this. Okay, so I'm really hoping we can put the 100 inch tires on this thing. I'll have to see what, exactly what tires those are, but maybe we'll stick that onto our off-roader. But we got some other stuff here. So check this bad boy out. This is the flatbed. So I don't see the controls on this one, but I think as far as I saw in the uh, pictures, you can convert this over to the tow truck. All right, so I'm checking out some of the other versions of it. I pulled out one of the flatbeds. I'm hoping we could put the ridiculously big tires on here. I downloaded that mod again, and I think it was updated for this particular mod. Uh, so I'm hoping to be able to do that, but I want to see how easy is it to convert a vehicle over so here we go we've got the uh, d45 diesel rollback so let's go ahead and spawn a new one of these uh give you guys an idea as to what the other flatbed or at least the uh, preset one looks like i don't think this has the adjustable bed uh like this one over here so how hard is it to actually switch it um let's see if i go down to probably the suspension uh there's this three link solid axle which i believe this is the correct one so if I switch all of these, does this add a set of suspension or is it the th wide three? I need to double check here. I'm wondering if we can do it like this because I'd love to be able to add one. You know, I actually think it's in the frame because you have all the six by six frames. What if I just switch that? What does that do? Oh, I got rid of my, uh, my uplift. I, I definitely still want the uplift. Uh, that needs to be a thing here. So after looking this over several times, trying to find uh, the right frame, I don't see a, a frame with the uplift, but in the mod, if you click into it uh, on the BMG website, you definitely see an option for the six by six tow truck. But I'm kind of disappointed I can't get that, but I have another idea here. So folks, I got something to work here. Uh, we're gonna put ridiculously big tires on it because why not? And when I say ridiculously big, I mean 100 inch tires on it because this makes total sense. I don't even know if this is gonna run. So yeah, this wasn't gonna work with the tow truck, was it? <laughs> uh, can I get this to roll? Wait, what the heck? This actually kind of works. Um, so we have a flatbed six wheeled. Also, I spawned this thing out just to figure out <laughs> what kind of wheels this was. So yeah, this does work with the, uh, with the six by six. It's just me figuring out what the uh, the frame is because obviously there is an uplift frame. So I was trying to figure out how to add another axle to have the six by six. Why does this work so good? I don't quite understand this. Now I'm kind of questioning if this would work with my off-road build we did earlier. Like, I mean, it's not like super fast, but how fast does this thing go in the first place? Hold on. Now we have to try something. Can we uh, escape the police in this thing? I really hope so. All right, here we are in our six by six. What's this look like? Oh, the tires are coming in. It's probably not normal, right? You know, I don't even think we can break the law by going too fast. Like we're going a little above highway speed. Oh, turn off traction. Is that doing anything for us? Nope, I don't think it is. Like I'm barely catching the AI here. Hold on. We gotta run somebody over here. Hello, Mr. Cop. Hi, Mr. Cop. Oh, we just launched over him. Oh, that was cool. Wait, do they hold up? Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're folding, they're folding. We need a wider wheel. Wait, did they just correct themselves? Oh, never mind. That was a pole. Fine. So the cops are aggroed on us now. I mean, we could kind of run them over, but I just feel like we need uh, we need more power. Also, is that a set of truck nuts? Yes, it is. Lug nuts, by the way. All right. Watch out, everybody. Yeah, this is working swell, right? Um, Well, with these big wheels, couldn't we like just go off-roading and get away from the, the police? Okay, the brakes are basically non-existent. I'm slamming the brakes right now. They're not doing a thing. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's get under here. Okay, I got an idea. Got an idea. Got an idea. I can't make the idea work because I can't turn the thing. I was going to turn uh, in that little section there and just go uphill. Uh, you know, it's fine. We'll just take the exit here. Watch out, Mr. Cop. Don't run into me. Okay, here we go. Uh, there's a lot of cops on us right now. This is actually kind of working, and I'm enjoying this. Uh, so what kind of compression does the tires have? Like if I were to jump these, would they actually give? 
<gasps> no! I don't think they give much. Like, just going based off that impact there. Oh, I'll still look at my infractions. Failure to stop at intersection. It wasn't like I have ginormous wills. This doesn't go against some sort of code or something. I mean, we could go bigger, right? I mean, there's always bigger. Uh, all right. I think that's basically our motto when it comes to trucks in Texas. And no, bigger is not always better. All right, let's try the 200. <laughs> I was kind of feeling like it wasn't going to work because of the whole fact it's a six by six and they're kind of into each other, the wheels. Does it drive? Oh, let's try it. Yeah, it drives great. I mean, to be honest with you, it's not bad. Yeah, this was not meant to be. It shakes a little bit. Um, this is stupid. I love this six by six though. Like I can't stop playing with this. So, you know what? Maybe my theory is right. Maybe we do need more power. Now, another thing, I have the uh, the wide suspension. I could try throwing that on. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. Uh, I feel like it would catch more traffic, but here, let's pull out our off-roader here. Uh, this thing was awesome. I didn't even see the top speed, huh? Let's try to fill this thing out real quick. There's a chance we might need to adjust the transmission on it. Oh, that is awesome, the way it whistles. All right, come on. What's our top speed? Okay, we're in the 70s. You know, for a race engine, this really isn't that impressive. Like, do I have a drag engine I can put in this? Hey, cops are aggroed on us. I guess we can go and do a normal chase here real quick. Like, I feel con- Oh, that boy just spun out. Uh, I feel pretty confident in this thing. It turns actually really good. And uh, we can always hop off-road here. Uh, let's test the brakes. Yeah, the brakes in a 6x6 aren't very good, but it's also a ginormous truck. So I don't expect it to break on a dime. All right, so I can go- Nope, never mind. There was a fence over there. I was about to hop off-road, but I don't think that's a good idea right there. Hold on, hop over the median. Yeah, the median's basically nothing. Oh, I knew that was going to be tight. No, oh, we broke it, didn't we? Yep. The left front is broken. Oh, we have a traffic collision. Hold on. Can you guys knock it back into place, please? No, it is definitely snapped. All right, we're just going to reset real quick. I was trying to prove a point that I could just go off-roading here with this thing. I saw a cop just hit a pole up there. What the heck is going on here with Beam and G's AI today? Why do they have fences everywhere? Just open it up, please. Uh, I want to shoot across the off-road sections now. On oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that suspension work. Oh, that's a tree. That's a tr Okay, we're fine. That's what we put the big bumper on for. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, and it takes off. Goes right up the hill. Oh, this is perfect. I love this. Hold on, let's shoot across. Wait, there's another fence over here. Why is there so many fences in California? What are you guys trying to keep in? Um, Let me think. Where are we going now? Uh, I need to find another off-road section. I feel like that's my best way to uh, dump the police. I saw I can kind of run into him here. Like, I don't think they're going to touch us. Okay, hold on. Go this way. There we go. Okay, and we want to whip it over here. Oh, we might be able to get up to that tower. Hold on. Let's shoot through here. There should be a road or something up here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it could be just the whole fact that it's an awesome off-road, but I feel like the 6x6 six six is helping. Also, I need to get over this. Put on. Yeah! That was... Brilliant. Okay, Han, go this way. Actually, is this up or down? Down is up, up is down. Uh, then we go the other way. Han, watch out, Grandma. Uh, here, let's just go this way. I take her front end front end off a little bit. It's fine. Uh, oh, this cop is gonna challenge us. You know what? Oh, okay. I didn't see the other one behind him. Uh, how do we get up here? Oh, here we go. Dude, we are just dominating all the hills here. Okay, and let's just go up the road now. Uh, let's use a little bit of handbrake here. Yeah, we're going to completely ruin this by putting uh, those big tires on, but it's fine. Uh, we got the uh, the normal chase out of the way. This works great. Like, I have zero complaints here. I really wish I could figure out the uplift, uh, but other than that, like, this is awesome. Here we go, and I want to say we, uh, we escaped. I mean, we kind of cornered ourselves, but you know what? We escaped here. That was brilliant. All right, so... You know what we got to do, folks? We got to ruin this thing. Let's put the gigantic tires on here. Well, folks, here it is. The off-roading 6x6. Uh, I guess we can try going down this hill here and see what happens. Yeah, I'm starting to question why this even exists. All right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Oh, oh. Oh, this is working. This is working. Holy man, this is cool. Oh, and... 
Broke the front drive shaft. Uh, I don't think that was a success. I mean, it looked good initially, but... <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's get out of the highway. So I think we were topping out right around the 80 mile per hour area uh, with the other one. So I'm hoping this upgraded engine is going to lead us to success. I'm afraid to turn too hard. Like, if you turn too hard, the front tires do that. I mean, that's just what they did because they fell off. But they normally do that when they're turning, too. Uh, they just fold over. Okay, here we go. Let's see what kind of speed we can get. Gas it up. Nice. Might even have to pair it with a different transmission here. I did put an upgraded transmission, but maybe the gearing's not right or it might not be matched with that race one. Oh, geez, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. You're okay. All right, so here we go. There's some weird, like, warping happening with the engine. It's just up and down, up and down. Yeah, there's definitely more speed here. Uh, I feel like we need to unlock the potential. Oh, sorry. Up oh, and, oh, geez. Okay, that's straight. Yep. This is such a bad idea. Oh, we took a perfectly good mod. And we have ruined it. Let me uh, stick a different transmission in real quick. Okay, here we go. We have the race transmission. Let's see, I think this might have hurt us. Oh, the clutch cannot handle this transmission. It's too awesome. Wait, why is it shifting through the gears so fast? It's a six speed race transmission, but we instantly shifted through the gears and burnt up the clutch, I think. You know, I feel like the way we had it was actually better. What do you guys think? I mean, this is cool. Uh, if you guys wanna go experiment with the six by six, I'll have it linked down in the description along with the big wheels if you are uh, insane enough to want to do that. But check them out. We'll see you guys next time.